Yeah. I told my squad we gonna make it out. One way or the other. Yeah. I had some hoop dreams, but no jumping like I'm at them. My pen is too clean, so I had to stick with rapping. My life is hella deep, dog. you couldn't even fathom. My goals are like Twitter, you can see I'm staying at them. I'm trying to be the GOAT, every day I'm chasing ghosts like I'm Danny Phantom. And I can sell a nigga, but I'd rather sell a hit, it's my niche. And business sent the beat, so I had to hit the switch. And now you're all in, I ain't on the fence. All these rappers peep my game, I ain't talking Twitch. Man, I'm trying to get Get rich. I'm trying to make my wrist match the plaques I started from the bottom, I ain't going back Yeah, I'm to die. <laughs> yeah. big to die. No mercy. No, no mercy. mercy. Yeah, we you know. Do we know okay. how far we're going? Yes, we go more than 30 kilometers. 30k? 30 15, 15. 15. Oh, yes. Yes. I have... Did you get the, the information? program? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. From forward, you yeah, forwarded yeah, the forward. direct. Yeah. That is the same, same, eh? But same. So if we do 15, 15, 15 yeah. that means Start the way back is hilly. Yeah, it's yeah. hilly. Yeah, it's yeah. very yeah. hard yeah. to do much. Yeah. It's a small, uh, small hill. Yeah. 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 At this point in the trip, these guys have basically become our brothers. We've all hung out and trained together twice a day for over a month, sharing stories, making jokes, and getting to know each other really well. They've appreciated our attempts to learn Kalenjin phrases while also doing an incredible job themselves speaking English with us so that we can communicate. English is something that all Kenyan children do learn in school, but it's definitely not as commonly spoken as Swahili or Kalenjin. For the most part though, you can get by pretty easily in Kenya with it. Good morning, Candy. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. good. Our driver, Candy, has also been a tremendous part of the team, particularly for me for content production. He calls me Spielberg because I'm producing these videos, and that's an honor coming from the movie buff that he is. Not only is Candy so much fun to be around, he's a wealth of knowledge and an expert in his craft. The way he's simultaneously able to keep tabs on all the runners, knowing which bottle goes to whom, while also positioning our matatu and communicating with me to get the best angles in any given situation. We spent a lot of time together in the matatu over the past month, chasing Luis and company around the Kenyan countryside. I'm so grateful to call Candy a friend. <laughs> Ready for another day of driving? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. Uh, I, I'm just too sad it's the last day I drive Louis, but I know we will have more in the future, near future, so I'm excited too. So sad for today, but excited for the future. So it's going to, I know it's going to be so good. You got a lot of bottles to manage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is no worry. I have no pressure. I have no pressure, so I'm okay. I'm gonna. I think the first time, yeah, it will be hard, but then it will be easier because uh, most of the guys, I, I don't know them like personally, so I know a few. But after the first one, the second one, I will, I will already know who it belongs to. But normally it's easier for me with the other guys because I know like everyone's bottom one. So today I, I skipped my team, but special for Luis. Yeah, yeah, so. We appreciate you being with us now. <laughs> the, I couldn't the, do what i do without you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we're about to start 30K and Moy Ben with a huge group. We're just doing a quick warm up so the pace can feel good at the beginning. Probably gonna be fast, so let's see how it goes. I'm excited for the last hard effort. I'm going to be a pacemaker today. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Candy, the famous driver. It's gonna be pacing for us today. Yeah, yeah, not driving. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
This is for normally in Kenya for celebration. We are going for any cele like celebrating a birthday, celebrating a wedding. You you put this, uh, and for the athletes when they they win, we go we go to the airport with this. It's it's so it's so good, like so famous. When you go to the airport, normally you see this green stuff in a lot of Kenyan champions, like this one now. We don't use the glittering one. You have to use this one first. Then, because of the modern times, you use the glittering. But this one is the original. We call it Sinande. What's that word? Sinande. It's like a Kalenjin word for this. I can't explain it. So I know English. <laughs> so it's normally so famous. You win. You do anything. They put it like that. Yes. It's so good. Mm. So the, the car yesterday went for a celebration, so they have to put this, they know it's coming for a celebration. So, but today, we are running. <laughs> we are not going to push. It's okay. Sometimes we need uh, the body to recover. Ah, yeah. Five. Three. <laughs> Two One oh. Today 30 kilometers was probably one of the best 30 kilometers I've done in my life both pace-wise and feeling-wise. At this point, I've been in Kenya for almost a month, training really hard every day, twice a day. So I'm feeling strong, I'm feeling healthy, I'm feeling confident. And this last part, confidence, is the most important part for me. So when I do these runs, at first, the first time I get to Kenya, or the first week, or the first days in Kenya, I'm like, I don't know if I can keep up with these guys, because these guys are always fit, ready, and strong. And when I get to Kenya, I have to adjust to the altitude, I'm always tired because of the travel, so I'm not that confident that I can keep up. But at this point, a month in, I'm feeling very confident and I, in my head I'm like, it doesn't matter how fast we go, it doesn't matter how far we go, I can keep up with them. I think for me, confidence is very important. I'm always fit, I always can keep up with them, but sometimes my mind doesn't think the same way and that's when I struggle a little bit more. But for this run, I knew I can run fast. When we started the run, the coaches said, 3.30 average pace, please don't go any faster. So at that point I was like, okay, 3.30s I can do no problem. So I'm not worried about it. In fact, I was like, maybe I should go a little bit longer. But then my coach told me, no, 30K is fine. Just run with the guys, stay with them and feel as comfortable as possible. So the goal for me in this run was to stay with them, trying to feel as comfortable as I could. In my head, I was telling myself, Think if you're in a marathon and think that you're running 42 kilometers. So how relaxed, how comfortable can you be during this run? I was practicing my drinks. I was practicing my breathing. I was practicing keeping my heart rate down, staying aware about my body posture, about how I'm feeling, about how relaxed I am. So we were hitting 330s, then we started hitting 325s, then we started hitting 320s. I think the fastest we went was maybe 315, so it was definitely a very controlled effort, but it was a tempo effort the whole way. Good work, Jose. I'll go on top whenever you want to stop. Oh, okay, okay. Whenever you're ready. Let's let's go to the top you both stop, okay? Yep, sounds good. Good, yeah. As I mentioned earlier, Candy was always keeping me in mind to help me with the shots that I needed, despite somehow keeping tabs on the dozens of water bottles and when their owners would need them. Earlier in the trip, he suggested I got on top of a Matatu to get a cool angle, which I was totally down for. In that case, there was a cargo rack, which was helpful and made me feel a bit safer. This Matatu's rack was bare, a little sketchier, but I'll do almost whatever it takes to get the shot. We of course always put safety first, and these roads can get a bit complicated and busy sometimes with motorbikes, runners, big trucks, tractors, the occasional cows and donkeys. 
but Candy always does a fantastic job keeping everyone safe. Muy Ben Road can be a little bit tricky, so the way we did it, we went out 15K and then back 15K, but in the coming back, there's a lot of hills, and they're not big hills, it's just like, it's definitely harder to keep up the pace and if you're running progressive and you're running faster and you're going up and you already have 20k in your legs, it can get harder. But I told myself, you can do this no problem, this is something you've done for a month here and you're strong and you're ready to do it, so let's go for it. And we did, and I felt really, really good. Again, I know I've said this before, but the energy you feel in big groups like that is something unique and something that I will cherish for the rest of my life being able to share with these guys and I mean we're a group of at least 20 guys running together working super hard for our goals and dreams you only get this in Kenya and you only get to train with these talented guys in Kenya and I mean I'm not even part of their group and they're like very welcoming and very happy to have me and they're encouraging me they're always you know checking on me to see how I'm feeling they pass me my water they give me space to run they're very friendly, they're very cool people, they know I'm there just like them, working hard, trying to make it, and as runners we understand that and we understand each other. So it's a unique energy that passes from one athlete to another, and if you're struggling, it's definitely going to help you. So this is the last run I did during this build up in Kenya and I'm just very happy with the way everything went and it tells me that I can run faster in the marathon and I can run faster in the half. I just have to put a good race together but the training and the confident part is there. I just really need to be smart about which race and how to race and maybe not start too fast in my marathon and hopefully that's what I need and that's the key for me to be able to run a progressive race and a progressive effort and finally run a PR in the marathon which I will continue working hard until I get there. So the group ended up staying together basically the whole time. Some people stop at 25k so the group got maybe a little bit smaller but we work hard together as a group, as a team, and we finished the 30K in 141, I believe, so 320 something, three low 320s average, which is one of my best averages for a 30K at altitude. Remember, we're at pretty high, and this road, even though it's flat, flattish, is still pretty hard. So definitely a good run, definitely a good day. Very happy to be in Kenya and very thankful for all these guys that are so welcoming for uh, to me and to Nate and to my campers. So very, very excited and very happy to be here and already planning to come back. Thank you for the help, brother. Very yeah. good. Yeah. 30k. Do you think? Yeah, 18 miles. Don't go, don't go. Don't have to be camera shy. Wait, wait, no, no. Alright, so we just finished 18 miles at 524 mile pace. Good job. Uh, I think that's a so 30k. So 18 miles is US, US time. Yes, good job brother. But for Kenya, okay, he's saying 18 miles because of US, but yes. yeah, it's 30k. And yeah, we yeah. finish in 141? 142, uh, oh, I forgot to stop mine. Okay. 141? Yes, 141, so that's like 320 pace, I don't know. What do you average, kilometer? 323. 323. Yeah, yeah. Which good? is pretty good, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday, last workout. Yeah, that was good. Awesome, eh? Yeah. I'm gonna let I'm me balance this All right, guy. Thank you. Hola. So good day. Feeling good. Like, you know, in my head, I was like, imagine you have to go 12 more k, and that'll be your Olympic standard. Can you do it? And I'm like, be hard, but I could do it. So like, I had 10 more k on me. So I'm in shape. Feeling good. Ready to go back home and. Get some yeah. track PRs and hopefully a half PR and just hope for the best as always. Just try my best. Enjoying 
each day, being present in the moment, uh, being thankful for this opportunity that I've worked for myself. Uh, and thankful with all these guys that opened their doors and let me train with them. So, so good. I'm so happy to be here and so happy to run 30K in 141 feeling is extremely comfortable. Not extremely comfortable, it was hard, but it was good. Like it wasn't bad. So yeah, good day. Happy to be alive. Yeah, my dad was Mzungu, my dad was driver. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my dad was my mission. Net is a doubt. Yeah, my dad was a doubt. Yeah, you too. Yeah. 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 Man, yeah. that was crazy.